Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a cute little crying nun. So we're gonna start off with the Too Faced Good in Bed Serum. This is such a great serum. It smells delicious, highly recommend. Then I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. poreless primer just to smooth out my skin because we want like a soft look to this crying lady. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is in the shade 2YO5. This is one of my older bottles. She needs some help. Anyway, this is like a little bit lighter than me because I filmed this at the beginning of September which I was kind of tan from the summer. So it's a little bit lighter to give us a nice like godly look. I'm also using an HD concealer, and I thought that this was lighter than it was. This is darker than my foundation. Oh, well, you know, what's a girl to do? You know what? Well, it's too late now. I'm going to be buffing that in with this Real Technique sponge, which I have some issues with this sponge. I have a video coming out where I kind of touch on it. It's like falling apart on me, which is very strange. I feel like the product is like deteriorating it. Anyway, I'm also going to be putting these Dermablend Glow Crater Drops. This is the pink one, obviously. I'm going to be popping this all over my face so I'm super glowy and dewy and angelic and just so holy. I'm playing with the shape of my eye. Oh, I'm yawning. Oh my god. I just yawned. Oh well, we're going to roll with it. And I'm using one of the Maybelline Tattoo Studios. It's just a black liner. I'm just like pulling my eye down a bit. Just because the photo I want to take, I just need like a side downward angled eye. It's very important. I'm going to be working with the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. This gray is perfect for this. And I'm just going to take some of that and pop it into my inner bits of my eye. And kind of on the bridge of my nose. Just to give me like a very sad, like furrowed brow almost kind of look. So I'm just going to be buffing that all in. I'm using so many new products. I'm using this Maybelline Tattoo Studio. This is like a brown tone. It's way too light for my brows, but I need it to be light because I want, again, a nice angelic look. Since I'm going to have a veil on my hair, you shouldn't be able to tell what color of hair I have. So I'm just exaggerating my brow look. And it's almost like a 19, like 30, maybe 20-ish kind of brow. I'm just making it look like I'm sad without being sad. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, filling that in, and I actually quite liked this stuff. It was very pigmented. I want it in a darker shade so I can actually use it in my brows. I think I have one. Anyway, I guess this does match my roots. Anyone wondering, this is my natural hair color. Then I'm going in with this Shoe Amora. It's a cream. I forget the name of it exactly. It'll be in the description box. It's just a cream shadow. I'm just popping that on top of my lid and underneath my lid as a base. Later on, you're going to see I'm also going to be popping it on my lid. It's just like the perfect kind of peachy tone for this look. It's honest to God, not a Halloween tutorial without using Milk by NYX. So I'm taking the jumbo pencil and I'm really shoving that in my waterline. And again, I'm exaggerating it and bringing it in, in my inner tear duct, which you'll see as well. And since I've never done this makeup before, I'm just kind of playing with the eye shape. And it's kind of like a cross between like an anime, kind of like Korean eye feel vibe. Like that's what I was getting when I was doing this. I'm like, oh, like... I'm going for this look, but it's kind of looking like this as well. Anyway, I'm just using whatever is left over from that brow product by Maybelline on my brush and just bringing that underneath my eyes just to exaggerate the shape of my eyes and make it look like it's really teary and sad and white. I have so many cream products on my face so I'm grabbing the Naked Cherry palette and kind of setting the peach tone that I put on my lid and underneath my eyes just to make sure that nothing moves too much. I'm also going to be gluing things underneath my eyes so I want a powdered base in order to stick the tears underneath my eyes. 
Now I'm going in with blush. This is the Sigma Blush Palette. I'm going to be mixing a couple shades together and pretty much I'm putting this, again, all over my face. It's going to go on my cheeks, my nose, my chin, my lips, my forehead, my eyeballs, my neck, my ears, like everywhere. Placing that peachy tone on my lip, and then I'm also going to go over, I forgot to film this lipstick, but it's one of the Makeup Forever Skin Flattering Lip Tones, it's in the shade 03, and that's what I'm going to be popping just on the inner, the inner bits of my lip, and then I'm going to buff that out. I want a really soft, just like, kissed, kissed application. I was trying to find a highlighter that gave me the glow I wanted and it was this Master Holographic by Maybelline. It just, this was perfect for it and I'm putting this literally all over my face. Like the most glowy you have ever seen me. And it really shows when I turn one of my lights off. Now it's like kind of all my lights are on. Just you wait honey. So for my tears, what I have done is I put hot glue little bobs, bits and bobs, onto these coasters. I tried on so many different surfaces. I tried on plates. I tried on tin foil. I tried on parchment paper. I tried on wax paper. It was all too much. So I finally put them on these, like, I don't even know. They're not marble, but they're just like a coaster. This is the only surface that it actually worked on that I could actually peel the hot glue off, which was, it was a whole process. So all I'm doing is I've made five different tiers and they're all five different lengths. I think two of them might be a similar-ish length. And I'm just eyelash gluing them onto my face and placing them down. When I was doing this, my fingers, because I did have makeup on it, they kind of dulled down the hot glue. So I do solve that with some clear gloss. Um, but maybe just like wash your hands before you apply them and just use like a really durable eyelash glue. For gloss, I use this Melted Latex by Too Faced. It's just a clear gloss. You can use any clear gloss. I'm putting this, again, anywhere essentially that I put my highlighter. I'm putting this again. I'm kidding. I'm putting this on my eyelids. I'm going to be putting this on my lips. And then I'm also going to be running it down my tears just to give them like some extra, extra shine. Then I just pin back my hair a little bit and I have this like weird mantle thing from the dollar store. I think I got from Dollarama last year and I just played with it and made a little veil and yes queen, here we go. so holy. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Ooh, these hot glues. Oh, honey, they're on my face. I'm praying for a cat. That's what I'm praying for. This is actually um, a mantelpiece. I literally feel like a painting. Like I'm every single piece of art that I studied in art history. Oh. I don't like that side though. This side. This honey.